She's so fluffy. She is so fluffy. Little teeny feet. Hello, little mooch. She's in moochy heaven. No, is she ever? She's no match for you stroking those fluffies. Oh, Mrs. Moochie. And jeer. Hmm? There you are. Yeah. Why do neighbors get to disturb you like this? What gives them the right? I've been listening to barking since six o'clock this morning. I can hear that from the other side of the house over the radio. Mm-hmm, so can I. Your dogs don't bark. Must be somebody else's dogs. Oh, oh, here she goes. Oh, that's cheating. He's just hiding in this thing. I'll smack you with my Verizon bill. Yeah. That fly was no match for Mia. Never are. Pie for a purpose. We got a big giant cinnamon roll and a pumpkin coffee cake thing. And then we got another thing. Little Mayo's looking cute with her Totoro bag. What happened? It was cool for like two days or so. Hey guys, while well, I'm waiting for some files to transfer, I wanted to make a quick Beetleborgs video. Oh, I'm loving the fall stuff in here. It's almost two o'clock. All right, Moochie. Come on, out you go. Come on, guys. Come on, little Mooch. Come on, here we go. Choo-choo. Oh. This is your stop. Oh, don't you bite me. Good girl. These were such cool toys. They had sufficient shiny on them. I posted a Beetleborgs video earlier. I'm really hoping we can get the second metallic set out. How are we doing over here? 538 views, only 177 thumbs up though. Needs more thumbs. Now it's three o'clock. Three o'clock, out you go. Out you go. Out. Out. Get that fluffy butt on up out of here. Come on, Mochi. Put those fluffies in bed. Good night, cats. <laughs> Mia, you did this. This is like the angriest cooking I've ever seen. What is it, Jerry? Casserole? No casserole. Tuna casserole? Does it look like tuna casserole? I don't know. Oh, Jerry's getting an attitude with me. <laughs> Oh, Mia, what did you do to him? I made this corn soup and I put some of the leftover chicken that we bought. Uh huh. I put it in the soup. He's really agitated. I know, you really did something to him with that, <laughs> that stuff you made. So, what are you making? Something better. Than what Mia made? Yeah. Oh, I think he might snap any minute. <laughs> All right, let me try some of that, that Mia stew you made. Hmm, it was good. Hey, 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 hey. He's making a sandwich. And now I want that soup. Oh my God, is it 10 o'clock? All right, I better get back to work. It's looking nice and fallish in here, right? I've added lights and stuff. Got my shiny chrome beetleborgs and him, but he's trouble, he has to stay over there. Yes, that is a beautiful keyboard. I hung him up. Oh, that smells so barbecuey. <laughs> you made the food of hungry. Hungry food you made. Now he's putting ham on his barbecue chicken salad sandwich. <laughs> I don't think I made enough chicken, oh. so it needs a little extra. Oh, it's that time again. I don't even want to disturb Moochie. I brought her a blanket, and she's so comfortable. You know what time it is, Mooch. You know it's two in the morning. You're like my little editing buddy, huh? Oh, Moochie. Moochie Moochie. I've made this a very big job for myself. Hopefully it'll be good. Tomorrow's my last day of editing before I have to submit the rough cut, so. For those of you who are new to the channel, Moochie was a feral cat. She started living in our backyard and we eventually befriended her and all of her kittens and took her in. It was a while before she trusted us and would come anywhere near us. She was very bitey when, when we first uh, got her. I used to have to, when I'd go out to feed her or to do watering in the yard, I'd have to take like a, some, some type of a stick with me to kind of she would like keep biting my feet. Remember that Moochie when I couldn't go outside because he would be biting me? If you're good with a pet, even pets that are kind of wild or maybe didn't have such good lives previously, you can kind of 
convert them. I'm just talking out loud. That's kind of directed at my disgusting neighbors that surround us. It's definitely possible to train an animal and to have them not be a nuisance. It's possible to keep them in the house. We're the only house on our entire block that owns pets who are not somebody else's problem. The last few days have been very bad neighborish. It's 2.14, tomorrow's gonna be a very busy day. Oh, I have to shoot my own parts. All right, Mooch, I think that's it. Right there, it's aching on both sides. I think I have to go to bed. I feel a little bit like when you're in an elevator that's going really fast in like a skyscraper kind of building and you like walk around in it. When the elevator's going up or down, I forget which one, and you walk up like in a circle, you get like the whee kind of feeling. I don't know if I'm making any sense. Oh no, now it's almost four o'clock. I have to get up early tomorrow, today, soon. Oh, you're so precious, Mitchie. You're like, oh, I've got that blanket now. You just try to get me out of this chair. Mittens both looks cute and like roadkill. You are most fluffy cat. Oh, give me those fluffies. I'm so sorry. You, you know what time it is, Mitchie. I have so much to do tomorrow. He keeps saying tomorrow. I wish it was tomorrow, it's today. I have so much to do today. Come on, Mooch, you know the routine. Out you go. This is your stop. Oh, good girl. Did I brush my teeth? I forget. Maybe. Good night, cats. It's morning ish. Mooch's in her nest. There's little Mia. Mia served tea. Look at that. My rough cut is due tomorrow. I need to be filming right now. This has been going all morning. I would like some daylight coming in. I would like to be able to start editing. Hopefully you can all understand why I can't have that in my featurette. For those of you watching the vlogs for a long time, you probably remember that this used to be our office, but we moved over there because too much barking. I've got my headphones on. I've got the fan on the highest setting. I can still hear that kid screaming outside. He screams every day. I guess I don't need that much air in here. Well, Maya's making some tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. This was going 20 minutes ago. Two cars drive off and they're all still there. I'm really trying to get some work done and it's really distracting. Alright, window shut, fans on, the hair dryer. And my headphones, so now I'll get back to work and hopefully not be distracted by my Creighton's neighbors. It's night time, I open the window again, and the Creighton's are back. Well, Mochi's doing some good looking. She's going to bed with her little book. And what would a vlog be without Jerry? Um, it would still be a vlog, but you'd have comments asking where I am. There you are. Here I am. There you are. Jerry's working on stuff too. I don't know if I've shown Booba yet. <laughs> I'm still listed as the editor of Booba on TV.com. <laughs> oh, it's getting to be that time again. You know what time it is, Mochi. It's a good towel, huh? Yeah. I hooked you up with that towel, didn't I? Mittens, I know you know what time it is. Sweet Mooch. Come on, Mochi. How'd you go? Like so lightheaded, uh, falling over. Out you go, Mochi. Out. Out. Good girl. Mittens, don't make me come in. Don't make me come under there for you. Didn't even realize autumn started. So right now we're doing stuff for Shout. We have an individual client who's wanting animation for an event. And then we have two event planner people. We had like no work coming in for months and now all of a sudden everybody wants stuff in like September, so. It's like really, really busy. I guess that's how freelance is sometimes. It's like you have nothing for a while and then all of a sudden you have everything all at once. Today is actually cool. It's 76 degrees, it's a little windy. I'm still busy editing, but we need milk and food. This white car comes flying out of the church like they've just committed a bank robbery and cuts me off and now they're not really in any hurry. Almost hit the girl on the bike too. Right. Why couldn't it always be like this? I love clouds. Just can't get over the blue sky. 
Oh, she's gonna drive over the bump. They're laughing. Wow, talk about oblivious. <laughs> wow. Like that maniac. Yeah, really. I always try to make sure that I'm not in the right lane at a red light so people that want to make a right turn on red can go because I believe in being considerate. And then this guy doesn't want to let me in and he's like trying to run me down. Meanwhile, he wants to make the turn that I was trying to get into this lane so he could do. Ugh. Hey, they've got ATM hot dogs here. These are the cereals that. Are we'll you happy now, Mia? Yes. Now put it back, you can't have it. These were just continued put that back. forever, and now they're back. Put it back. I've never had these. Never? Ready for kids, Mia? No. You sure? What's Edison bulbs? Oh, I, I think I need that. Oh, look at that. It's red and I know, they're beautiful. Oh, look at these. Lantern. That is more whining than moochie. <laughs> Town drunk don't have that much wine. <laughs> Jeez. Is this what I want? All right, that was our last stop. I'm ready to go home. Cretans are outside honking at each other again. Bye-bye, Cretans. Oh, it smells like cookies in here. Yeah. Oh, it smells like cookies. Oh, look at all the cookies Jerry made. Soft. Cookies are here. Soft and warm. Oh, that is so soft. Oh, Jerry. You broke it. I did. Uh-oh. Maybe I should put them back in. <laughs> Ooh, this gives the house such a nice smell. We should just always have cookies baking. Oh, now it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to go through my Facebook on MMPR Toys, trying to make sure that I got everybody. I'm trying to make sure that all the names are correct for the closing credits of the featurette for the DVD. It's 3.08 in the morning. And I want to make sure that everybody is credited as they want to be credited. <laughs> You know what time it is, Moochie. By the time I kick you out of here, Mia's gonna be waking up and letting you back in. Now it's almost 4.30. Come on, my sweet. Come on, Moochie. Out you go. Out. Come on, I'm too tired. Out. <laughs> you know what, Moochie. <laughs> Moochie, please. Work with me here, Moochie. Come on, Moochie. Out, please. Out. Oh, you're such a pain. Mochi. Come on. Come on, Mochi. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Come on. To bed. What is that? Is that another loose dog? Oh, that dog has been going for hour or so, maybe more. I guess I'm up. Oh. Please shut up. I think jet fuel for today. Jet fuel. I don't think this will make me hungry. That'll be good. Oh, I need it. Alright, let's see if we approve of Jerry's sandwich. I suppose perfectly good. Jerry's got those fancy rolls. Yeah, that does look pretty good. Oh, and now here comes the onion. Why didn't I think of onion? So for someone like me, it's not just that you don't ever get to go to sleep and that you get woken up if you ever do get to sleep at crazy hours and you have to listen to the barking all day long while you're sitting at your desk trying to do work. The work I do involves audio recording. So these people get to tell me when I eat, when I sleep, when I work, how much, how productive I am during the day. If I'm doing a vlog, if I'm doing something for Shout Factory, whatever it is I'm doing, if it involves audio, I have to wait until their dogs are done barking. And if their dogs want to bark all night long, then I just don't get to go to sleep. Now, anytime you hear something like what I'm saying, there are always going to be the people that are sympathetic to the offender instead of people like me. This is really something. And some of the dogs are still out there. So per usual, the problem has not been corrected. All right, enough is enough. We gotta do something about this. What? There's still like nice places to live somewhere, right? Maybe that's good. I like stress relief and relaxation. Yeah, really. The tea is smart. I knew you were going to get tangled up in those lights mittens. I knew. I knew you couldn't handle that. 
This is the article that is pretty unbelievable. Former NFL player Brian Holloway, he has, I guess, a second house that I think he's trying to sell, and it was broken into by about 300 teens who had some big drunken party. They smashed windows, they punched hole in the ceiling, they peed on the carpet. And meanwhile, all these kids are posting photos of themselves doing all this stuff and, you know, tweeting it. Stole a statue that was part of a memorial for the owner's stillborn grandson. So the owner offered to welcome all of the teenagers back to his house for a picnic where they could work together to make repairs and clean up the mess that they made. Can you imagine that being the reaction? So instead of the parents dragging the kids back to apologize and clean up the mess, they threatened to firebomb Holloway's house and are now planning to sue him because I guess he identified the teenagers online with the photos that they posted trashing his house. How many of you guys could break into somebody's house, smash the windows, punch a hole in the ceiling, pee on the floor, and then have your parents threaten to sue the owner because he reposted your tweets? And how many of you would be locked in your basement for the rest of your lives? Out of the roughly 300 kids, one kid showed up to help, I guess. And that really says something about the time we're living in. I sort of was hoping that my experience was just kind of contained to, to the block that I live on, but evidently it's everywhere. I think there was a time when a lot of kids feared their parents or teachers and wouldn't dare do something like that, or if they would, they would take the chance to do the right thing instead of facing possibly harsher consequences. Like, couldn't the owner press charges? Not a lot of people treat people the way they expect to be treated. I mean, everybody here goes on about being neighborly. I have not experienced anything neighborly since I've lived here in six years. I have seen the absolute worst of humanity, though. A 19-year-old was arrested in connection with organizing, advertising, and providing alcohol for the party. The police statement said he faces two felony charges, including third-degree burglary and two misdemeanors. Three of those arrested are accused of stealing a Granite Eagle statue and are facing felony grand larceny charges. Two others among the six arrested are accused of trespassing and providing alcohol to children. The teens did $20,000 worth of damage to his home. I mean, why? Oh, that is so mittens. It's that time again. All right, four o'clock, my head is, I'm like seeing splotches. I think I have to go to bed now. Mrs. Moochie, you know what time it is, my sweet. Come on, I know what you're doing. <laughs> A stubborn mule. Oh, are you stubborn? Moochie. Go to bed. Good night, cats. It's like just what you want shining into your house, right? Good night. Oh, I slept too late. I suppose I needed that. But I... Oh. My head is throbbing. I feel like I'm on the Gravitron. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Mia's giving us a show. It's so fluffy. Hi, Mittens. Howdy, much. That was pretty good, right? Yeah. <laughs> Jerry? Yeah. It's such a lame joke, and you managed to work it into everyday discussion. I'm using Premiere now instead of Final Cut, even though I've been using Final Cut from 2000 through 2013. But this new version that they released and Final Cut 7 is just... I can't. So Jerry said, I thought you were using Final Cut 9. And I said, there is no Final Cut 9, it's just 7. I guess 7, 8, 9. Well, it goes from 7 to 10. Right. So 7, 8, 9. <laughs> yeah, I'm that good. I, I think the joke goes over Jerry's head a little. It, it was uh, it was very good. Mia, what kind of trouble are you making? Just being a grammar Nazi. <laughs> uh, this guy responds to an article by saying, my beef is with people who use the word parent, a noun, as a verb. So I said, maybe your beef should be with the English teachers who never taught you that parent is both a noun and a verb. Oh! Now what, Mia? I'm trying to cleverly add that it's also an adjective. Oh, Mrs. <laughs> well, and then after you do that, you have to write an example sentence using it in all three ways. <laughs> the parents used the parent handbook to parent. Oh, that is what I call direct cereal. Oh. I think I need three hoes for two dollars. What do you guys think? Oh, three hoes. Two bucks. I love that. We got those at Target. It's one in the morning and I'm going to bed. I'm actually not tired. Oh, they're both doing it. You would think it was Black Friday or something, right? Do you want to pay? Alrighty. Except I keep spilling food. If you would just stop spilling <laughs> stuff on yourself. Oh, she make a mess. I've been like sitting on my hand. Disclose my unpatented idea. Come on, Yuri, out with it. You take the dental floss, put it in the toothpaste, so that you can brush and floss at once. This brilliance came to you in a dream. Yes. To bed!
No, then oh, that's right, right, right. With more stupid right. ideas. <laughs> now what do we do with him? I just want to make my coffee and not listen to this. Since we got back from the East Coast in March, I've really been determined to really like it here. And uh, we had a pretty fun summer, I guess, but it's because we didn't have any work coming in and we were out spending money we didn't have going to places we shouldn't have been going to. And we had some guests come visit us, which was fun. You know, now we're busy again and we're just home all day listening to dogs bark and then if you want to go somewhere, you get that. So really, if all you care about is sunshine, this is the place for you, for sure. I try to cut out all the sucky stuff from my vlogs and just have the good stuff. For some reason, people usually get angry at the person experiencing the bad stuff rather than either the situation itself or the people causing the bad stuff. So if you're doing daily vlogs, I kind of feel like it's being dishonest to just show happy. Right now, I, I'm going to be horribly late to my job. And I am leaving early, but I didn't leave early enough. I'm gonna try to go a different way. And this is as far as the eye can see. There's no way I'm gonna make it. You can forget about somebody letting you in. Look, this guy's gonna run me. All right, I've been on the freeway for 47 minutes. I've driven one mile in 47 minutes. Hopefully, Sepulveda will be okay. I've still got 19 miles to go. 19.5 miles. Really, I'm getting so sick of people not having license plates on their car here. What is that about? Well, this explains it. There was one regular lane and a carpool lane open up ahead. All right, that's the off-ramp I want. Uh, I guess I won't be going that way. I just saw something about a detour for the street that I want now, too. Uh, I can't answer that. The exit that I want, I think they said is closed from what I saw. So now this dumps you you can only go right. I have to practically go back to where I came from to turn around. You see, this is all backed up. This could be another hour. Oh, that's right. And then this lane immediately merges. You could get killed right here. You can't believe how far out of my way I'm gonna have to go now to turn around. No, I, I can't do this. Look at this. I'm never gonna get there. Oh, I, I kinda wanna cry a little bit. Look at this. And I still can't turn around. I have to find another way. There's no way. Oh, detour now. Can I go this way? Detour. I can't tell you how frustrated I am right now. Light screen, nobody's going. Is it that time where you can't get back onto sunset? The guy who hired me just called to find out where I am. It's really awesome to be an hour late. It really makes you look good. All right, I've sat through this light two or three times already. You can't get onto that street. All right, here's green light number four. <laughs> Really? The guy speeds around me and goes down the center lane. You can't do that. Look, you can just kind of make up the rules. Okay, hey, let's drive down the middle of the lane. Look, they're all doing it. You can't do that. And now the way that I want to go for like the fifth time now says detour and points that way. I want to go this way. Look, another one. No signal, right in front of me. I want these, oh, fantastic. And I'm still so far away. Why is it that we're just sitting here and the light's green? Very pretty lighting. I can't believe how late I am. And the way that I'm trying to go to might also be a detour. And if it's a detour, I just don't know what to do. I need to get onto Sepulveda somehow. I just cannot believe this. I've been sitting here for 12 minutes. Well, that's the way that I was, that I got detoured from. I think the detour signs are just like decorations, maybe for Halloween. I've done a circle. I'm coming back to the freeway. No guarantee that I'm gonna be able to do it better this time. I really need this job. The woman that almost just took the back of my car off, I think she was literally eating out of a dog dish. It was a, like a round bowl like we have for Moochie, but it was like for a dog size. And they were like brown, it looked like dog food, like the stuff I used to feed my dog. And again, whichever way I'm not going is moving. Is this like the Truman Show or something? All right, Bruno's heading this way, cue the traffic. I don't even know what's going on here. Do I have to be over here to make the left I wanna make? Look at all the people going, even though we have a green arrow. And red arrow. MapQuest estimated 24 minutes. I've been in the car for over two hours and I'm so far away. I've driven 14 miles. There, I passed that guy ages ago. The guy with the purple backpack. Another three minutes have gone by, the light's green, nobody's gone. I'm doing room photography for an event. And see, once the guests get there, I can't do the, it, you can't do it. And I probably don't have a lot of time now before the guests start coming in. And then I've screwed the guy that hired me, who I like. I'm seeing more detour signs. And now the light just turned red. Are you I, I'm still here. I have not moved. That was my guy. Please drive, the light is green. It's so green. 
Oh, they've got the right idea. Oh, they fixed that nicely. So can't make the right on red until everyone else makes their left. Four more minutes have gone by. We haven't budged. This is where I exited. It should have been just like, but the ramp was closed. So that was like another 40 minutes or so just to do a circle. He just called to say they're starting in a few minutes. He's pissed and he has every right to be. That really sucks. There's nothing I can say to make it better besides sorry, but that doesn't really, that doesn't get him the photos that he hired me to take. Really, to have been here on time, I should have left several hours before I was needed, but I've got other jobs that I have to do, and that was the, I left as early as I could. Almost there. Another red light. Another minute has gone by. This light has not changed yet. And now we're just, I'm like, I could walk there in two minutes. It's right there. I'm like tempted to just park on the sidewalk and, and run. He's called me three times so far. We just sit and sit and sit and sit. I only drove 19 miles. All right, back home now. You could use your turn signal. I'm letting you go because I'm nice. Well, evidently there's traffic on the way home too. What are these cones? Ramp closed? Oh. Well, I'm not getting back over there. Okay, well they let that truck in, which is probably... I don't know where this goes. I guess we'll find out. What street is this? Well, this is the way that I wanted to come earlier that would have saved me a bit of time. It says detour, pointing away from this way, and it is just fine. Oh my god. Oh. And Sepulveda is backed up too. Oh, is that something? Cretans are honking. I'm home. I thought he just yelled at the dog and asked it to come in. Here we go again. Just want to have some oatmeal. I just want to do some grocery shopping, get some coffee. I hope I'm not getting sick. I had tea. I had vitamin. I was saying in my vlog yesterday that this is like the Truman Show. They say, okay, Bruno's coming this way, cue the traffic. It's always moving on the other side. All right, can you get out? Hmm. I'm so out of it. Now after all that, we get here, I forgot my wallet. It's in the pants that I wore last night. I didn't switch it back to my shorts. You know, there are some places that frown upon bringing a dog inside. I broke off his smile. There, I turned it into like a mustache. Oh, that's, that's his mouth. This is going on. This is like, we're in the middle of nowhere. Mia. This is the good street. This is, there's no one in the opposite direction. This is the Truman Show, Mia. All right, I have to get in here somehow. Ay, 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 it's right. Good? Pumpkin spice. I think we need that. Got that. Uh huh. I don't know if I'm sick or just burnt out or whatever. Something's the matter with me. I need ice cream. And waffles. Ice cream and waffles. Card broken. Don't you break this time. It's almost six in the morning. I'm up. I'm not tired. I can't hear out of this ear. I don't know why. I feel like I've been swimming and like ear water went into that ear. I'm cold, achy. Nose, throat, ear. I think it's just this bizarre schedule I've been on. I don't think my body can handle this anymore. Jerry's alarm clock is on. I guess he's getting up for work soon. Oh, my head. I'm sick. I'm trying to sleep. No more barking, please. Please, no more barking. I have such a headache. Oh, oh these people are something else. The minute I put my head down. <sighs> I think when Mio's project is done, I think we're gonna have to report them. Again. <sighs> Please take your dog inside. This is the first time we reported them. Another time we reported them. Another time we reported them. All of us sleep with a fan to help drown the barking. Hey guys, I'm a little sick. This came in the mail the other day from Ryan. It hasn't been the best week, so this was very nice and unexpected. And it's still nice even though it says Team Mia. It's almost 6 a.m. again. I need water. Yeah.
Well, I'm freezing, dizzy, and achy, but I think I feel better than I did yesterday. You can breathe through my nose. I would call this epic headache, because I haven't had any coffee. Could coffee help? It hurts to walk. It's time for unsupervised nuisance barking. I want to know what the point of this is. It's that time again. Hello, Mia. Moochie. That cat vomited on her moochie nest. Ruined. She knows what she did. She knows she ruined her nest. It might be for the better. She couldn't handle that nest. Oh, it was making her crazy. We couldn't... <laughs> Mia couldn't sit down on that chair anymore. She wasn't being snuggly. All she wanted was that nest. <laughs> Don't she pop it out. It's a long vlog. I'll see how it does. Since about mid-August, I've been on this bizarre schedule. So to me, it just all feels like one super long, crazy day, which is probably how I got sick. Just don't think my body can handle this anymore. I've added the neighbor sparingly, but hopefully you guys can get some idea of how they could drive us nuts. I've reported the dog people many times, but I've never followed up with the final thing that would get them like the severe penalties but after six years it's actually gotten worse so I think they've had infinite chances and at this point I guess whatever happens to them happens unfortunately it's not the dogs fault that the owners suck and I've really tried to not have the dogs pay for the owners stupidity but I mean this this house is becoming uninhabitable I wouldn't mind them if they didn't bark constantly. Well, you wouldn't know they were there if they didn't bark constantly. Right. I don't have anything against dogs. I just don't like the barking. I was a dog owner for 23 years. And please don't say, Bruno, that's a filthy lie. You're not even 23 years old. Yes, I am older than 23, so... I speak the truth. Mochi found a cricket. Oh. Get that cricket, Mochi. We've met the neighbors at the mediation and the hearing. They are the nastiest people. They're really just mean-spirited. For the people that are on our side with the barking, I've read a lot of suggestions, but that's not me. I'm not going to do anything that would harm the dog, or that would be illegal, or that would make me as bad as those people. We do everything by the book, so we'll go to animal control, we'll file another report. It sucks that we're nice people. If you don't live among other nice people, it really sucks. It just really, really sucks. How many casts does it take to catch a cricket? Good work, Mushu. Get that cricket. What is this fool doing up? Me? Yeah. What about these two? I don't have work tomorrow. Neither do I. Oh, actually, yes, I have work tomorrow. So do I. <laughs> Just for that, you go to bed. <laughs> All right, my sweet. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> Out you go. Choo choo. This is your stop. Come on, hun. Out. Out. Mia. Yeah. I know you're making a scene at the chair. Jerry, bed. Jerry, don't don't make me come under there, Jerry. Out. Come on. <clears throat> yeah. Come on. <clears throat> Out. <clears throat> Good girl. Yeah. Yeah. Mittens. Come on. Good boy. Well, hope you guys enjoyed my frustration, infuriation. Thank you guys for watching, and good night.